a train with a view. But this is no ordinary train travelling through the German countryside. This is the Berlin military train, which for four and a half decades, from the end of World War II to the end of the Cold War, ran daily from West Germany through communist East Germany to West Berlin. And 21 years after the service discontinued, this weekend a steam train replica of the Berliner has been put together to transport 550 passengers from Berlin Charlottenburg to Hanover and back again. The train was a vital link in and out of Berlin and demonstrated a right of access for the British. Many troops who were posted to Berlin would take the journey in their leisure time to get out of the city for the day. This trip is nearly identical to how it was back then, including the much-loved dining car. The experience is bringing back many memories for those on board. A bottle of wine was one I bought on the train in 1985, and I kept it just as a memento, and the 21st anniversary seems to be the right time to open it and see what the vinegar tastes like. Uh, get on the train uh, where there was a, a soldier guard on there, or guards, who, uh, as the train pulled out, they used to uh, lock the doors, chain the doors to, and put uh, props in the window so that nobody could either jump in or throw things out. I was actually born in Hanover, and so to go to my birthplace on the British military train is a fantastic experience, and it's such fun. Just as it did in the past, the steam locomotive stops at Marienborn, the border between West and East Germany. Retired General Sir Robert Corbett was the last British GOC in Berlin and recalls presenting the Russian officers with the all-important documentation. But to me it seems like yesterday that I sat in this train, had responsibility for it, taking the documents down to the Soviet guards. And do you know the way in which we always used to make sure that the documents would get through quickly rather than being left standing in the rain with the Soviets? Do you know that? We always used to put a copy of the Playboy magazine under the documents and then we'd get them back very quickly. The next stop is Helmstedt, just over the border, and here the Black Kilts band lead a parade down to the Market Square, where David McAllister, the Prime Minister of Lower Saxony, thanked the British military. British armed forces came to Germany in 1945. They came as liberators and occupiers. They soon became friends and partners. David McAllister's father served with the British military and he has memories of travelling on the Berliner with his mother when he was younger. Well, as I just saw the dining tables, childhood memories came back and it was always a very special feeling when you travelled from West Berlin to Helmstedt. Either by car or by train, it was a very special sense of relief when you actually passed the so-called German Democratic Republic. And we Germans should always be very thankful for what the United Kingdom did for us. This commemorative event has been a huge success, not only to remember those who worked and were involved with the Berliner, but for the new passengers who have been able to experience an incredible journey on a magnificent train. It's also raised a huge amount of money for the Royal British Legion in Berlin. It's been a nostalgic occasion, a true train ride down memory lane. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Berlin.